Bata is the Filipino word for kid. That's what they call kids in the Philippines, where my nanay grew up. Now, nanay is the word for mom. That's one of the many words some batas in the Philippines call their moms. Some call their moms mommy, mama, sometimes ma, inang, inay, ina, sometimes mother. Like most kids my age, I love to play. Sometimes when my nana sees me playing, she would say, When I was a bata, we don't have a toy. We just play hide and seek at night. Now that was fun, she would say. My nana also made sure that I practice my violin. She would say to me that when she was a bata, they couldn't buy musical instruments. So they used stones to make music. Now that's fun, she would say, but she's a good singer. She'll hit a high note up the clouds. I really love her soprano voice. Did I mention that I love reading? Of course, my nana would tell me something about when she was a bata. She would say, when I was a bata, we don't have electricity to have light when I read in the evenings. We just use petroleum lamps. She said she'd climb trees in the afternoon to read and make homework. I would say, Nana, that's fun! <laughs> now my dad, on the other hand, I call him Tatay by the way, is funny like a clown. Besides farting and laughing, he sometimes would say to Nana, you could always know a person is getting old when your story always starts with. When I was about that, then a toots and laughs. <laughs> At night, before I go to sleep, my nana would tell me a bedtime story about a cute monster. The monster met a beautiful monster. Then, they had a baby monster, cuter than the two of them. I really love that story. Now that was fun. Someday, I would tell the same bedtime story. Hmm, maybe I would start with when I was about that. Now that will surely be fun. <laughs> <laughs>